Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has had a hell of an impact at Manchester United since joining and replacing Jose Mourinho as manager. In his first five games, he's got five wins under his belt. And now it is January, it's 2019, and the January transfer window is open. So some attention has been pointed towards new signings. Will Solskjaer make any new signings in this January transfer window? What I'm going to do is run through a list of players that we've been linked with see what Solskjaer has had to say about the transfer window as well, and run through all of that with you. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there, hit the notifications bell, join the community and get involved. But let's get straight into it. First things first, what are the key areas that Manchester United need to strengthen? I think you know it and I know it as well, certainly at centre-back. Manchester United's defence has been a bit of a shambles this year. Nothing else to say about it. Lindelof is looking excellent in his recent games. Hopefully he keeps his form up all season. Eric Bailly is still a mad hothead. Love him, but he's a hothead. And Phil Jones and Chris Morning should not be playing for Manchester United next season onwards. We need a new centre-back. We need a leader to solve these defensive problems that we have at the moment. As well as that, probably at right wing. You know, you saw against Reading when he had Mata and Valencia there on the right-hand side, how stagnant Manchester United's right-hand side is. All of our threat is coming down the left through Luke Shaw, Anthony Martial and Paul Pogba. It's making us a little bit predictable going forward. So next season onwards, we need to assert a dominance down the right-hand side again. And for me, that needs a new signing. I don't really think we're going to get a new right winger in January, but maybe, maybe we'll get a new centre-back and Solskjaer can hopefully solve his defensive problems. But what are the chances of a signing actually happening? Here is what Solskjaer had to say about the January transfer window when he was asked by reporters. He said the club's probably had a plan. You don't just plan the next day and month. I'm sure they've got plans, but this transfer window has probably been planned since the summer and the year before. The structure is phenomenal, so I'm sure they've got their targets. I'm here to voice my opinion on that, and I'm sure we'll sit down, me and Ed Woodward, if they've got anything in the pipeline. I'm here to work with the players I've got. They've all performed, and as long as they perform, they should get a chance, but that's my job to improve players and individuals. So Solskjaer has been sitting down with Woodward to discuss targets, but what targets could they be? What I'm gonna do now is run through a list of centre-backs who have been linked with Manchester United over the last six, 12 months, and give my opinion on who I think the best signing United could make in the January transfer window. First up, Toby Alderweireld, the 29-year-old centre-back from Spurs. We all know that he is a top class, Premier League proven centre back. Now, Spurs have activated a clause in his contract, which means he is available for only 25 million, but that's in the summer, not in the January transfer window. Now, did Spurs activate that clause so they can try and demand a little bit more for Alderweireld if they're gonna sell him in January? Or did they activate that clause because they have no intention of selling Alderweireld in January? It's probably one of the two, but I think if Man United did wanna go in for Alderweireld, went in with a 35-ish million bid, Spurs would have to listen to it. They wouldn't just reject it out of hand. But what do you think? Would Alderweireld be a good signing? Next up on the list is Kalidou Koulibaly. We all know who he is. We saw him against Liverpool. 27-year-old defender from Napoli. For me, out of all the defenders on this list, he is by far and away the best defender. An elite level player, ready for Champions League football, ready for football at the highest level. Koulibaly could come into Manchester United and be that dressing room presence, be that physically and mentally as well. He could solve probably United's problems, not, or not immediately, but he could bring a huge presence straight away, more than a lot of players on this list. And if that's what United need and want in January, then Woodward can get his marquee signing, he loves marquee signings, and Koulibaly would be the marquee signing from a centre-back point of view. But it'll be tough to see Napoli letting their prized asset go in January, saying that everyone's got a price. So would you want Manchester United to go after Koulibaly? Let me know in the comments below. Now another centre-back that we've been linked with from Serie A is Kostas Manolas, a 27-year-old from Roma. Now reports suggest in Italy that he has a 36 million euro release clause, but that doesn't get activated until the end of the January transfer window. But reports also suggest that Man United have been scouting Manolas. Now we know Manolas from his goal against Barcelona in the Champions League last year that knocked them out of the Champions League with a miracle turnaround in Rome. And like Koulibaly, Manolas plays in Serie A. And that's a bit of a theme you'll see in this video. United have been linked to a hell of a lot of centre-backs from Serie A. Maybe United are going to the home of defending to try and solve our defensive problems. 
And I don't think that would be a bad idea. We certainly need to get someone in to solve our defensive issues. Maybe it is somebody from Serie A. Maybe it's Milan Skriniar, the 23-year-old from Inter Milan. Now, you'll know that early this season, I did a video with Francesco Porzio, a Serie A expert, where we discussed Skriniar in detail. Now, he is a fantastic, fantastic defender. Inter Milan, just like Koulibaly is Napoli's prized asset, Skriniar is Inter Milan's prized asset. Letting him go in January might be hard for them, but money talks, and that's going to be a recurring theme throughout all of this. If United do want to get a centre-back of real quality in January, we're probably going to have to pay over the odds. That's what happens in the transfer window in January, and that's what kind of happens in every single transfer window now. Skriniar a couple of years ago would maybe have been 50 million. Now it's probably going to be upwards of 70, 80 million. 23-year-old, already top level, and has plenty of growth still left to do. Would he be the leader that Koulibaly or Alderweireld would be? I'm not sure. But he's certainly a player with a hell of a lot of potential that's already looking like a world-class defender. And another Serie A defender is Nikola Milinkovic, a 21-year-old from Fiorentina. Just like Skriniar, we had a look at Milinkovic, his strengths and his weaknesses. And while Skriniar would be an excellent signing, Milinkovic maybe has more potential than him. But he's only 21 and that may be an issue because Milinkovic wouldn't be the defensive leader that we need right now. He'd be more like an Eric Bailly or a Viktor Lindelof type signing, somebody who has the ability to grow and become into a world-class player. But maybe what United need now is a leader. And I'm not sure Milinkovic would be that. And neither would Joachim Anderson, the 22-year-old from Sampdoria. Excellent, excellent potential. Probably more attainable than Skriniar, a bit like Milinkovic would be. But he wouldn't be the leader that this defence desperately needs. I think out of all of those players there, Koulibaly and Alderweireld will be your two outstanding leader choices. But maybe it wouldn't be from Serie A where United turn their attention to to try and bring a new centre-back in. Now There was some we were linked to in the summer when United were desperately clambering to try and get a centre-back signing on deadline day, and that was Diego Godin. 32-year-old is out of contract next summer, and he's been heavily linked with a move to Inter Milan. Maybe that will see Godin go to Inter Milan and Skriniar, maybe moved to Manchester United in the summer. But Godin, we all saw at the World Cup. Godin, he might be 32, he might be slow, but he is a truly world-class leader. You know, he was arguably the best centre-back at the World Cup, and he's done that at 32. Now, if United do want to get someone in for maybe six to 12 months that could steady the ship, that could really bring a resolute defence back into a team which it's just leaking goals left, right and centre. Maybe that's Diego Godin. Somebody who wouldn't cost too much. Somebody who wouldn't be around for too long. But maybe somebody who could stand alongside Lindelof and Bay and help them progress. Just like Johnny Evans needed Nemanja Vidic and Rio Ferdinand to bring the best out of him, maybe Lindelof and Bay are the answer for us in the future. They just need someone like Godin for a year to help steer them on the right path. That's a lot of centre-backs. United linked to plenty from Serie A, mainly Serie A, and obviously Godin as well. But who would be the best choice? For me, it would be Koulibaly. If I had a blank check and I was Manchester United manager, I would want Koulibaly. 27, already a world-class player. Still room to grow as a player as well, not too old. But more importantly, he could be the leader that comes in right now, and between now and the end of the season, can have a significant impact on this defence. A lot of the other signings, maybe not so much. Alderweireld certainly would, Premier League proven and ready, but whether Spurs would let him go to a rival, I don't know. Koulibaly would easily be the best signing out of all of these, but maybe he's unattainable. So let me know what you think in the comments below. What centre-back would you want to see Manchester United sign? Would it be Koulibaly or another one there? Maybe one I didn't mention. Now, I could talk about right-wingers like Memphis Depay, who we've been linked with, but I don't think Manchester United are going to sign a right winger in January. I think if we're going to sign anybody, it's going to be a new centre-back. But quickly on the topic of Memphis Depay. No, not for me, in any way, shape or form. Yes, we spent big to bring Paul Pogba back after we made a mistake in letting him go. Maybe it wasn't a mistake, but he left and came back at the right time. But not Memphis Depay, not in my opinion. I think United need to look forward and look ahead 
for the future. And I don't think that means bringing Memphis Depay back. Yes, you know, wasn't the right managers to get the most out of him at Manchester United. Certainly wasn't. And maybe he could play better under Solskjaer or Pochettino or Zidane or any manager who was in charge of United come next summer. But I just don't want to see United sign Memphis. I, I don't think he's got the right attitude to make it in the long term at United. And that's my own opinion. You may disagree with that. Let me know in the comments if you do. But in terms of right wingers, I think that's going to be a summer job. This job in January, if anybody, has to be a new centre-back. And ideally a leader like Koulibaly. So what do you think about the January transfer window? Do you think that Solskjaer is going to make any signings? And if so, what position do you want to see us sign a player in? And I suppose most importantly, who? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be releasing a video later this week as well, looking at the squad currently and what players I think Solskjaer should be keeping and selling in the January transfer window and also looking ahead to the summer. So make sure you check that out later this week. Now, if you're new to the channel, come on. Hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments on the video. I want to know from you who you would sign in January if you were manager of Manchester United.